report. Thanks. We begin this morning with a death of a patient inside a psychiatric ward. The father of an Oroville man says his suicidal son checked himself into the Butte County Behavioral Health Psychiatric Ward seeking help and killed himself while inside. Cecile Juliet is investigating this story. She's live at the facility this morning. Cecile, what's the response from that facility? The facility says, citing privacy laws, that it cannot confirm or deny that this happened. I spoke with the man's father, who was clearly heartbroken. Richard Burke is a broken man. <laughs> Just touch nearest stuff. I'm waiting for my kid to come home. But his son, Eric, is not coming home. Richard says the 24 year old Eric killed himself after he checked into the crisis unit at Butte County Behavioral Health. He's very suicidal. He's trying to commit suicide here in my trailer. He said he's hearing voices and they're telling him to hurt himself. Eric was in a motorcycle wreck two years ago. He lost the use of both legs and his ability to have children. His father says his mental state quickly deteriorated. And then he came up with a story that people were coming through my bedroom window. And uh, shooting him with drugs in his foot and raping him. I'm going, God, Eric, that's not real. It's not happening. There's nobody coming through the window. I often thought he's on drugs. But when he'd go to the hospital, I'd say, Drug screening, please. And they'd say he's clean. Eric knew he needed help. I need to go to the hospital. I said, Let's go. He says, I'm. I want to kill myself. I, I he says the voices are telling me he don't want to kill himself. He's scared. He's really scared. After Eric checked into what's known as the Puff Unit, Richard breathed a sigh of relief, thinking his son was in a safe place. But he was wrong. They let him kill himself. They allowed it, you know, because he shouldn't have been where he could have a bathroom door to hang a blanket over. Action News now filed a Freedom of Information request with the Department of Butte County Behavioral Health. They denied our request, citing patient privacy. Well, the doctor said we need to let this medication sink in. He will stop hearing the voices for sure. So he told me he had two weeks, okay? So I'm sitting at home, resting easy, sleeping easy. My son's safe in protective custody. He should be coming home about now, not hearing voices, so we have something to work with. That's when a deputy showed up, saying Eric was dead. I get up and I keep him company until he goes back to sleep. I could have kept him alive. The facility cited HIPAA and privacy laws in its response as to why it could not confirm or deny the suicide. You can read this entire document on actionnewsnow.com in just a little bit. Julia, back to you. All right, Cecile, thank you. And Action News Now will continue to work to get answers on how this could have happened. We'll stay on top of this one. The FBI has just released the most recent violent crime statistics for 2018, indicating both violent and property crimes.